At TFL Studios, we pride ourselves in our independent and honest reviews. And to bring you the best possible reviews, we buy several long-term vehicles every year to see how they are to live with, what the reliability is like, see how they perform off-road. And we have two of them right here, our 2020 Land Rover Defender, and our 2020 Ford F-150 Raptor. Now these are really cool vehicles, but they're also very expensive vehicles. This Raptor has an MSRP of $77,000. And we understand that not everybody out there can afford a 70 plus thousand dollar truck, which is why I'm super excited to introduce you to our baby Toyota that we're calling Baby Yoda. This is the latest project truck. It is a $7,700 2002 Toyota Tacoma. And in this series, we are going to turn this into a budget overlander, a budget off-roader. And then we're going to auction it off for charity on our new auction site, tflbids.com. So when we're done building out this Toyota into something really cool and pretty special, one of you out there could be the new owners of a really neat Toyota Tacoma, and all the proceeds are going toward Mountain State's children's home. So it's all going toward a good cause. When it comes to finding a durable, long-lasting, reliable, and fun project truck, it doesn't get much better than the first generation Toyota Tacoma. This one is a 2002. And yes, we paid nearly $8,000 for this truck, $7,700, which seems like a lot of money for an 18 year old truck. But keep in mind that is still one tenth the price of that Raptor behind me. And I have a feeling that this Tacoma may last 10 times as long. Let's take a look underneath the hood. There were several engine options in this generation of Tacoma. Now the base engine was a 2.4 liter four cylinder, but you could spec it up all the way to a V6 if you wanted. This one has the, uh, the middle engine option, which is still pretty small by modern day standards. It's a 2.7 liter four cylinder. Power output, somewhere around 150 horsepower. Torque is also about 150, 160, but these engines, they last forever. Very simple, no turbos, no direct injection, nothing like that. Just a basic fuel injected four cylinder engine. And even with 150 horsepower, it actually moves pretty darn well. And that's because, well, let me show you out back. Compared to modern trucks, the first generation Tacoma is absolutely minuscule. And this one is smaller than your average Tacoma because it is a single cab. It doesn't have the space behind the rear seats. It doesn't have four doors. This is very unusual by modern day standards. And if you compare this truck to a Ranger or a Colorado, it's tiny, which means it's really lightweight. So even with 150 horsepower, it chugs down the road with confidence. Now the bed, is surprisingly useful. It's probably the, the best feature of this truck. Even with four wheel drive, I can easily reach in, easily grab all my stuff that I may have back here. But I think there are several areas we can improve. We wanna turn this into a budget overlander. Basically, an affordable truck that you can take camping for extended periods of time. Now, in order to do that, we're gonna to have to modify the bed a little bit. First of all, this toolbox, I think, is gonna to have to go. It does have this really cool mural in it because the previous owner was an artist, but it takes up valuable bed space. Now, we are on a budget with this truck. We bought it for 7,700. We wanna be in it about $10,000 when it's all said and done. So how are we gonna transform this bed into a place you can sleep and live and uh, you know camp in? I think uh, we're gonna to have to get a little bit creative. So be sure to stay tuned for that. The reason we bought this particular truck is because it is in excellent condition. We want this truck to bring a lot of money when we auction it off at the end of the series so that we can raise a lot of money for the fine folks at Mountain State's Children's Home. And in order to do that, we wanna make sure it's a good, solid, rust-free truck uh, with no major damage. And this is a, it's a great example. Like, look at this interior. There are no cracks in the dashboard. Everything works in the center console. There are no tears in the seat. It's it's a brilliant place to start, and it's a great uh, platform to build a really cool little rig out of. The magic in this Toyota truck can be summed up by this door panel. Everything is mechanical, and nothing is overly complicated. To roll down the window, you use a crank. I know that's never gonna fail. To adjust the mirror, you've got a lever. No power mirror adjustments to fail. To lock the door, push down on the plunger. It's that simple. That is what made these old Toyota trucks so indestructible. First of all, keep it simple 
and keep it serviceable. And everything on this truck is simple and or serviceable. So when these new truck manufacturers are designing their 2022 and 2023 model year pickups, they need to model the interior after the O2 Tacoma because it is perfect, very functional with just enough flair to be interesting. Starting with the gauges, they're super rad. I love the white backing on them, easy to read, very legible, everything you need to know. Steering wheel, no nonsense, but you can see even with 180 some thousand miles, hasn't worn down at all. We do have an airbag in this truck, then moving to the center console here, you've got basic heat and climate controls. So I've got fan controls, working air conditioning, heat, and then direction of where the air flows. It does have an aftermarket head unit in it, a little cubby here. And then below the cubby, we come to the transmission and the transfer case. We did buy an automatic equipped truck, a four-speed automatic, just so that more people can drive it more easily, uh, and it's actually not a bad transmission. To the left of that are four-wheel drive selectors, so two high, four high, and four-wheel drive low. Now, kind of finding interesting gadgets and gizmos, starting with the cup holder. <laughs> We've got this big fold-out cup holder here for larger beverages. We've got a small cup holder here that actually extends to create a third cup holder. Take a look at that, but beyond that, a beautifully functional interior. I do believe this truck has a slight lift on it. Let me know in the comment section below, but I think that because these are definitely oversized tires. These are the Michelin LTX all-terrains. Uh, we're gonna have to swap these out. They're just not very aggressive. I do love the wheels, though. I think the American racing wheels are, are super rad, but the, uh, the tires are just a little bit too street worthy for what we're going for. So I think a new set of tires are certainly key and then maybe a new bumper. I'd like to find a budget way to incorporate a winch into a, uh, a bumper that's usable and uh, won't break the bank. So let's see what we can find out with that. In case you're wondering, that's what an 18 year old Toyota Tacoma key looks like. Once again, nothing to break. Let's take it for a spin. All right, so key in the ignition, twist to start. <laughs> it starts up immediately. Now this Toyota pickup truck has 181,500 and 37 miles on it. And I have no qualms in telling you this, this is better made than a brand new Ford Raptor. It just is. That Raptor has peeling chrome on the uh, bezel for one of the vents. It's uh, a little squeaky here and there. This Toyota is perfect. Even with over 180,000 miles on it, it drives just like our 50,000 mile Toyota FJ Cruiser. Like they just don't age. I don't understand how Toyota trucks are able to go hundreds of thousands of miles and still feel brand new. It, it just defies the law of physics. But this little truck drives really well. The steering is crisp. The suspension is really soft. I mean, it, it's super well damped and even the power, <laughs> it's pretty good. Genuinely, I, I've driven a lot of like four cylinder Jeeps and they feel very slow, especially of this era. But this has tons in torque especially. It only revs to about five and a half thousand RPM, but it, it just pulls well throughout the power range. I love driving around in this little truck. Modern trucks, they've all gotten too big for daily driving. This is more useful than a brand new Jeep Gladiator and it will probably last longer than a brand new Jeep Gladiator if we're being honest because they are almost indestructible and they drive well, really well. Just like our first project truck here at TFA Classics Project Gunsmoke, we're gonna make this a team effort and Case is an integral part of the Baby Yoda series. So Case, what do you think of the little truck? Well, first things first, I have to say I am super impressed with how just nice it is. Like the body is straight, it has paint on it. So we're already starting at a way better place than we were at with our last project. Yes, but I think there's more that we can do. So talk to me about some of the ideas that you've had about what we can do to transform the Tacoma. Yeah, for sure. Well, obviously we've got a fairly limited budget and that's a big part of this. We want to make sure that what we build here is affordable. We don't want to do some crazy, way too expensive SEMA type build. And there's a couple things cosmetically I think that we should address. First of all, this grill doesn't look that great. So I'm considering maybe we could even try and do like a body color match grill. Uh, we could also try and find a new chrome grill or maybe a black grill. Maybe some people in the comments will tell us what they think. And then another big item in that same area, these uh, little pieces of trim that are painted black, it just looks completely wrong. <laughs> so again, that's something else that we should definitely get a little color matched can so we can spray those the same color that they're supposed to be. And then there's a bunch of other stuff that we could potentially do. We could go to some cool off-road bumpers, throw some off-road lights on it. Ooh, yeah, that's a good idea because these candle lights here as for headlights aren't gonna... Could be better. <laughs> ...aren't gonna do well on the trail. Now, I'll tell you mechanically, it's pretty much 
exactly perfect. Uh, the brakes are a little bit touchy, so we may look at those, but um, I, I think that we're gonna have to get a little creative toward the back of the truck. Oh yeah? What are you thinking? Well, that, I mean, we were just talking to David on the phone, who's our, our, our friend over at the Happy Yak Ranch. He's a, a master everything, but especially a... Um, well, he's a, a great carpenter. A carpenter, yeah. So maybe we could do something back here. Yeah, so one of the ideas that we were talking to David about potentially doing is trying to find some storage system that we could make or David could make for us DIY, something maybe with cabinets that slide out. That way you could throw a little bed on top of it. And then of course we'll have a topper, probably a soft topper made here That'd in cool. Boulder. Yeah. And that way it would basically be a budget overlander in the same theme of this entire truck. Keep it simple, keep it rugged, but functional. So I think the modern, do you wanna open the tailgate? I think modern Tacomas have a composite bed. This one still has a, a metal bed that you can see underneath there, but this is some kind of like liner that someone plopped in here. So let us know in the comment section below, should we keep the liner or we could even go to like a bed line system. I don't know what would be better. Yeah, Raptor Liner makes pretty cheap kits that you can get for these trucks of less than 200 bucks, and you could spray bed liner in here. It's what I did on mine, and that's not a bad way to go. So potentially we could do one of those. And then I think in terms of off-road gear, I would love to see this truck with maybe some skid plates under it. Ooh, that'd be cool, or sliders. Maybe yeah. Maybe make a set of sliders for it. Some That's kind of idea. sliders, and then it definitely needs tires. Yeah, the tires are pretty sad, I agree. Yeah, now, they're not bad looking, but they could use more tread. Didn't you have a friend with one of these that 2JZ swapped it? Yeah, so actually my, my roommate and oh. good friend Connor, he had a, a similar year Tacoma. I think his might have been a 99, and he swapped a 2JZ, a, a fourth gen Supra, or no, a third gen Supra engine? Third gen, yeah. Third gen Supra engine. Uh, either way, he was making about 550, almost 600 horsepower with that, and it was completely wild. Every time it came on to boost, the back end would just start to walk. Really? <laughs> That's wild. I don't think we're going to go that crazy. So no. the, the little four cylinder will have to do the, the trick. This is going to be a key thing too, though. We have to keep weight down because it doesn't have a huge amount of horsepower and it's pretty quick right now. But if we load it up with 800 pounds of bumpers and stuff, it's going to be a little bit slow. So potentially a soft topper shouldn't be that heavy because it's fabric and it's got a relatively light frame around it. And then we can try and pick maybe a, a relatively lightweight wood to build some kind of storage solution out of. And then of course the air mattress that would go on top of that. Yeah. That's not going to weigh very much. Yeah, you're right. All right. So here you go, baby Yoda. What a brilliant little truck. I'm super stoked for this series. We're going to see how much fun and how much capability you can get for about $10,000. So be sure to stay tuned to the series because at the end of this, it's going off to a great home and it's going to support a great cause and it could be one of you guys. So check out and stay tuned to tflbids.com for this upcoming auction. But wow, all sorts of fun series to do. We're going to bring it to our friend David over at the Happy Yak Ranch. I think he's going to build us some kind of custom drawer system. We'll show you all that and be sure to document the process. Well, as always, this has been Tommy with thefastlanetruck.com. Check out TFL Classics because this is where the series is going to live. Thanks for watching.